Hello everyone, welcome back to Trap Dog Gaming here on YouTube. We are in the game subsistence and this is now episode 66. As the sun comes up over another day, I think this is day 273 in subsistence, I've just realised how crooked my potato patches are. Hmm. Anyway. Um, okay, so today we are building, finally we're building the gazebo. So we'll get that done out this side. This is the first use of proper ceiling or roof structure rather than just using ceilings which is what the base currently is at the moment. Uh, the main base is still not finished of course but anyhow we've got to go get some bits and pieces. Off camera I have built a whole bunch of stuff, I've gone through a bunch of resources as usual. Um, I have got, this is the thought, I'll start with the, take that with me. Um, this is my thinking. Um, it will come from probably here. So we'll start off with just foundations. Like so. Um, so my gut feeling was that, you know, I'm making all this up kind of almost as I go, but um, it goes out one foundation, then there's three long, as I realise there's a deer over there. And there's a wolf there. The deer is just behind that edge there. Anyway, don't get distracted, Trip. Don't get distracted. Alright. So, it's going to be three... It'll have to go three out. So this first one is just starting. Then there should be... Uh, there should be three of these wide. And then there should be... I think that's right, isn't it? It's right in the middle. So it should be like that. Almost like a star, I guess you could call it, kind of effect. Where's the middle there? Okay. Then, a doorway. There's... Uh, mm -hmm. No, hang on. I think I was going to put it here. Doesn't It didn't really matter actually where I put it. It was just something that I could go through so I could start the ceiling. Anyway, we'll grab the hexagonal, not hexagonal, um, the curved foundations, which are these guys. So these four will fill that in and make it look more like a... I mean, it's only quite a small thing, but... Uh, there? So there's the first curve. This one will need to be rotated, so it looks like that. Then this guy... It's a bit you can't rotate the orientation of the timber. Okay, so this is as close as you're going to get to a kind of a... Unless you make it a lot bigger, of course. But, I, well, even then. No, I think this is, this is the best you can do, really. Okay, so... Well, no, not the best you can do, the best I can do. Um, okay, so let's put these up. Now, I'm curious... Actually, I might as well just take the lot here, to be honest. Okay, so... If you are coming out here... I think... This is, this is how, you know, this is how I was thinking it was going to rock and roll. Like... Don't fall off. Which way should it go? It probably... Hmm, probably doesn't matter. The apex is there. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then... Uh, I was just going to put these guys around the outside. I'm not sure how they want to connect. Do they not want to connect? Am I going to fall off here? This is the best way of putting it, because I can kind of... Oh wow, it goes like that. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Dull. Okay, so the inside has to be a half board higher. Is that right? I think that's right. So that kind of has to go there then. 
Da -da. She's a beaut. Look at that. She's finished. Oh man, Trev. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at that. What a structure. People from a distance are going, What the crap's he doing? Alright, so let's just... <laughs> crying out loud. Uh, I, I think I'm getting with it. I think I understand. I think... I think I think it's meant to go... How, can I... There. That's it. I think that's it. You know full well here I'm going to fall into the water, don't you? Because I can't... Can I do it without falling? No, it's meant to be... Hang on, can I bring it towards me a bit? There you go. Good old numpad number two. Yeah, I think that's kind of how it's meant to work. <laughs> kind of. Okay, so same thing again. This has got to come out closer to me. It looks like that. Um, last section that looks like this comes out to here. Is that as far as I can go? Okay, hang on. Wait till I get right to the edge of the boards. There you go. How on earth all that standing up on those tiny little pieces of timber there? I'm not sure. Kind of want to put down a. S I want to put down a second door. I think I need to make a second door, people. This is. Oh man. Um. Okay. But we can certainly add these guys in, I think. How do we do this without... Hang on, which way is that going? I think if I rotate it, which way... Oops. Hang on, that way? I think it's that way. And then if I extend it with my imaginary crane... It kind of looks like this. So hang on, I should be able to do the same again, shouldn't I? Which way are we rotating? It needs to... Go that way, doesn't it? So if I stand here... And... No, it needs to go... You're close, game, you're close, but... It needs to go further away. Like that. There you go. Um, hang on, where am I really thinking this goes? I have a feeling that the doorway... Hang on. I think the doorway should be right here. So it's right on the edge. This is so weird. Not having this thing fall down when you <laughs> when you're doing this. I think that's better because it still forms. I'm missing a bit of a roof yet, but do, do you know what I mean? It's kind of got a a gazebo-ish looking shape. What am I missing? Oh, the back edges. Oh wow, this is going to be fun. Can I just like? Hang on, where's the rotation bit? So that... Oh, maybe I can do it from inside, hang on. I'm not falling off here, am I? Oh, there you go. Not as bad as I thought. Okay, so that's the square, okay. So that kind of looks like a gazebo, I think. Feels a bit better having... No, I can still get... I can get on and off via that one there, but if I really wanted to, I could make another platform out this way. Man, Trev, you're going to cover the whole map with a base soon. Okay, I think... I think that's kind of what I was trying to achieve. It needs railings and stuff around the outside, perhaps, but... Yeah, I... I guess that's kind of what I'm after. That doesn't look too bad. Anyway, alright, I'm going to go uh, fill myself up with Tucker, 
do a little bit of maintenance. Now I'm going to go out and have a look and see what. Actually, I might um, I might grab a couple of the fuel bricks and just use them rather than using the timber. Um. Oh wow, my food's gone down, 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 down. You know what I will do? I'm going to cook up three of these and replace that. I think. We'll do that. Cook up some livers. We will uh, uh, eat a liver, a carrot, an onion. That's right, I went down a fair bit in potatoes, didn't I? Now that I think of it. Yeah. I think I need to seriously consider doing a meat run. I think I need to get some more. some more tucker somehow. How are we going? Just before I came on camera, I did touch these up, so they're not too bad. That one's alright. Hmm. Okay. Hokily dokilies! I've got that all up to scratch. Is there anything? Oh, there's something in here. A bit of extra biofuel. What are we up to for biofuel? Just over 650, so 652, so we're okay. I did use it to push the um, power up quite a long way. Okay, so I'm pretty much back up to where I should be in terms of food. I might grab one more onion. Um, let me just save it here. Okay, let's have a look from a few different angles. Can't really see it a great deal from here. It's still a reasonable distance. Oh, I don't know. You know, can the hunters throw molotovs and stuff from the shore there? Probably. Um, you know, can they come into the water and just throw stuff? Yes. So this could be the disadvantage. Um, there's Mr. Wolf. You're actually in the way, dude. I'll have to get rid of the wolf. Yeah, I think when it's got a railing around it, it would look even better. Well, come on, I need some food, dude. Um. Well, it's not exactly what you call a meat run, but at least I've got some meat. Was he the only wolf? Because there was one on this corner over here. Um, speaking of meat, hello! A little chook girl! No longer a little chook girl. There you go, okay. So what does that look like? Yeah, it adds a bit of interest, it's a bit different. I wonder if um, subsistence will ever bring out boats. Little canoe. <laughs> that would be interesting. You could tie a canoe up to it, kind of. Yeah, I think it just needs a railing around it. I guess you could just put some sofas and a rug there and a little fire or something like that. You could do that. It's almost like a real life kind of project, isn't it? Building something out there like that. All right. I think I think it looks pretty pretty cool little kind of gazebo just obviously isn't finished um, at the moment at all and I guess I could put another little set of stairs from that side but other than that yeah I think that looks pretty good um, um, let me just check for a second if you were putting in the railings again what was the railings problem oh scrap ah oh, crap um I reckon it might chew through about 18 scrap. One, two, three, yeah, it would. Well, maybe we should just do it and finish it off. What do you think? Hmm. I mean, I could do more grinding and I'll eventually get more scrap, I should imagine. Uh, so, hang on. Are we talking about... We're talking about two straight railings and four curves, aren't we? So it would be two of them. And 
then it'd have to be four of them. Yep. Ow! For some reason that felt a lot further down than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I was going to say, is there anything sitting over here? Yes. Which there often is. I'm not sure how the AI in subsistence works, but it makes you feel like it knows if you've just gone through a bunch of consumables. Yeah, i got to go fix that up. How many ore are in here? Fifteen! Oh my goodness. Yeah, I haven't, um, haven't been processing the ore as much recently. Alright. So we're talking about a straight railing just here. Uh, is that a straight railing? I think it is. Another one over here. And then the four curbs. Is that one? Yeah, I don't know what it is about the metal railings, but oh, they look so sweet. It really does... In real life, if you had a gazebo or a veranda that looked a bit like this, you'd be chuffed, wouldn't you? Like, how nice is it having... I don't know what it is, the colour, the texture of the timber, and then, like, raw timber. Even as it shows up in here, it just looks nice. I mean, it kind of makes a bit more sense that I should have some more structure in here for it to sit on, but... <laughs> You need like a truss going across in reality, but anyway. Alright, I think that's not bad. Let's go back outside and just have a look. I, well, up here? What can we see from up here? Yeah, what do you think? I, it kind of... F the railings make it somehow. I think because it follows the outline of not just the bottom, but the top as well. I, it's something to do with that, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Alright, let's sneak our way back out here. On the way back in, I'll have to process the ore. I've got plenty of power. I've been doing this a lot, hey. Because there's no... The bears, you know, don't give a crap about you doing that. But the... The dogs, you know, they run away as soon as you stand back on the platform. So it's like, might as well... In and out a couple of times. Scare them away. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that does look better. You can kind of see these railings running around now. It looks a little bit more like a gazebo, perhaps. I'm not exactly sure what to put in there, but then... I've got a few places inside where I need to make some furniture, like that big centre area up the top there. It needs a couple of lounges and maybe four chairs. Maybe down here you can do the same thing, have a little... a few... maybe have two big lounges and two small chairs opposite each other and a little furnace in the middle. So we'll get put a campfire there and make it look like it's a little, um, you know, in in real life, um, a little fire pit or something. <laughs> I think you could do something like that if you wanted to. No, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I reckon that looks pretty good. I mean, these games only look as good as what the devs put in them that you can use, hey? Yeah, the base is definitely big now. I mean, it stretches quite a long way. Wh which kind of brings up that whole thing about protection. You know, is it too big and you can't protect it? Because you've got hunters coming from different angles and stuff. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a think about it. Well, I'm just, you know, fairly soon I'm going to um, reinforce this, this base a fair bit. Then I'm going to have to go through an episode or two or three or whatever of making some more guns and more ammo and whatnot. Uh, rose hip! Oh, another rose hip. Um, but yeah, I think I think that looks pretty good. Do a little bit more grinding in this episode, I think. And resource collecting. It's actually not a bad day in subsistence. But for a change, it's not sleet and snow and storms and whatnot. Actually, I might do these two trees, go back inside and you put the... I'd like to keep the rose hip quite fresh. Otherwise, it 
kind of um, degrades the whole stack of rosehip in the fridge. I'll come back out the other way to the grub tree. Where'd you come from? Yeah, even from there, it does look... It's, it's, whoops, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? The way it sits out. Well, other people do that, don't they? They have something like that, and then they moor their boats to the edge. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon it looks pretty cool. Anyway. Alright, we'll pick these up on the way. So there's 15, 16 iron, 16 zinc. Was it eight bottles? Yeah, I did swap back to bo bottles there for a little bit. Grab a few more. Okay, so the rose hip is... Yeah, see, it's already degraded quite a lot. It's a bit annoying. Anyway. Onion and a carrot. Keep that up. I might grab a steak this time. I'll have to grab some water. I've got to cook this and this up. I'll also cook up the chook chook. Chook chook girl. Um, put these away first. I have got an awful lot of water now. 56 bottles. Ah, uh, it's not... In, well, it's not really a lot, but... It sounds a lot. <laughs> yeah, see the power's maxed again. Very soon, I've got to go and make some more power storage, I think. Another couple would be good. I use the scrap again. Stop using all the scrap. Actually, I've got no scrap. Did you see, see that? I <laughs> just realised. Man, that's where my scrap normally is. Damn it. Oh, well, I'll have to go out and do a lot more off-camera grinding, I guess. Uh, see, it's frustrating when they're only... Um, oh, I can't even fit that in yet. Well. Oh, well, I'll grab a couple of water then. Come on, Mr. Steak, you can't be too far away. I might leave the... kind of low-grade chicken meat... on me. Um, yeah, 33. I'm not sure if you remember last episode, I kind of dropped a couple of pieces of... was it rabbit meat or something in there? Then obviously it's gone to spoiled meat, which, which is fine by me. I need it to manufacture a few other things in the game. Namely, insect repellent and the heat packs. I have, I've been pretty lucky actually. The heat, I haven't really, you know, absolutely had to use heat packs yet, so that's all good. Although I haven't been up around the mountains or haven't been caught out in a massive um, storm yet, kind of thing. All right, food. Everything's up to scratch. Um, did I? How close are all these guys? Probably need a little bit of fertilizer, actually. Let's have a quick look around. Okay. That one. Oh, wow. Some of them are a bit low in fertilizer. Unless I missed... Missed one. Alright, you know what? I am going to do the lot in one hit. This is what I normally do anyway. Is the water down? Yes. Water down. Not anymore. What's that one? How close are we? And amazingly enough, guess what? I didn't drink any of the murky water. Amazing. Alright, so we've got all that done. I Actually, one thing I should do... I might just save the game again here. Go up on top. Actually, we'll have a, a few different views here. So from out off of this railing... It still, it still seems a fair way from land, though, doesn't it? Uh, I still reckon they could... Yeah, hunters could come... Oh, it depends on how the AI works, doesn't it? 
If it wanted to annoy the heck out of me, they could easily just come into the water there and swim around and throw a molotov or something on it. I don't really, really want to upgrade that section, because it looks better, I think, if it's all... if it's got a timber base. Oh, well, that's going to be interesting when you enable the hunters and... Uh, I wonder how and where they're going to attack. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. What about right at the top before it gets too dark? <laughs> Up with the solar panels. Yeah. I mean, it's... Oh, that's interesting. Huh. So the top of the glass walls just come through the timber a bit. Huh. Um... Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. It's an addition to the place. What's going on with the rendering of that plants? <laughs> Almost looks like half wheat and half potatoes at the moment. Hmm. Going back into nighttime skies. Cool, isn't it? Well, no pun intended, but yeah, it's minus one truth. Of course it's going to be cool. And looking down here, straight into the veggie patches. Yeah, the base is pretty cool, actually. I don't mind the way it's turned out so far. Still have to add this massive, um... tower thing on the top here. Well, I know it's going to be massive, but obviously another... few floors, I guess. Um, yeah, cool. Alright, everyone, I think I'm going to have to leave the episode here. But before I do, I can't see a damn thing! got too dark. The only thing I'd love to have is an extra, like a light switch, similar to the floodlights, where you, like a master switch, I guess I'm saying. You just turn all the lights on in the place. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be pretty cool if we could ever get something like that. Alright, so at least, at least we've done our gazebo build. Huh, kind of looks funny being outside. I know, guys, it's a bit dark. Sorry about that. Under the aurora lights or whatnot, and the moon. Well, part part of a moon. It's almost a new moon, isn't it? This is what it looks like out here. This would be really cool being out here with a little fire and some chairs around it, I think. How cool. Oh, well, I'm glad I've done it because this was something that was on my mind. I just wanted to see how it would look and... You know, what it adds to the base and everything. So when we start building furniture, we'll have to think about what we want to put in there. But I think some chairs around there would look pretty good. Work pretty well. Alright, well, that's that episode done. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about... I'm going to do a fair bit of grinding off camera and see if I can get my resources back up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to seriously think about the reinforcement of the front of the base and looking at weapons and stuff like that pretty soon. I think somehow. I've still got the elevator to build and the tower on the top to build, so there's still a fair bit more to go. Even before we start, you know. Or whether I do or don't before I enable hunters, I'm not sure. I have to have a think about it. But yeah, it's going to have some... I think it's going to be fun enabling the hunters and see how they react to the base and whatnot. Alright everyone, I hope you've liked the episode and building the gazebo during this episode. Um, if you want to help and support the channel, then go ahead and smash the like button for us. Um, even more help is if you can subscribe, if you haven't already subscribed, because it helps the channel immensely. Um, and you'll also be notified when more videos pop up on the channel. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.